Watch his mouth when he pronounces the letters. Ya Ustad, لو سمحت هل من الممكن أن تقول للك الحروف مرة أخرى؟ الحروف فقط. اللي يرى الناس تملك. بعد أكو حروف. أي وش تفضل كما تشاء.
The benefit of listening to, at this stage, now you're taking a class with an ustad, a teacher of Arabic from an Arabic land. Not a teacher of Arabic to foreigners, a teacher of Arabic to Arabic-speaking people. Does that make sense? No. So what, what do you get from that? That this is how they learn. This is the person they go to to learn the language. Isn't it correct? No. Right? And so what you will learn from there is some of the pronunciation of the letters. I told him he could teach whatever he wants to. He chose to come and give us half the letters of the, of the alphabet there. Why he chose these particular ones is, is some wisdom he has for them because these two sounds are constantly confused amongst people. Okay? Some people in America or the United States think that this letter say as. Uh, say it. As. They think there's a foreign sound. Right? Mm. 
Because they write it as DH. Do we have a DH sound in English? Yeah. No, not in that form. But we do have this sound, don't we? Yeah. Give me some words. The, the, the. this. Yeah. Say, say, what's that lady that gave birth to you? Mother. 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 And what's her husband's name? Father. Father. You get it? Yeah. And that guy that grew up with you? Brother. 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 You get my friend? My point there? Yeah. And other. Right? So we have that exact, that <coughs> same sound. Sahih? Yes, sir. But we get it mixed up. The word he used, say dhib. There's a hamza there, dhib. This word is in the Quran, so we should be familiar with it. In Surah to Yusuf. Right? Dhib, right? The second sound, say eth. Say eth. Ad. Now say F. You have to practice them together. Some people say it F. No, it's not F. The tongue comes out. We call it teeth and tongue. F. 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 Say Fari. Fari. Say Ri. Ri. Don't let the tongue touch. It's not Spanish. In Spanish, we roll the rock. In Arabic, we don't roll the rock. Ri. Ri. We say it more like the French. But actually not, I said more like the French, but the French pronounce the raw from the back of the tongue. In the back of the mouth. That's why they, sometimes it gets confusing how they say some of the words. They say, they say, they say Paris, with the tongue going up in the back. But we want to think it from the front of the tongue. So you say it without it touching the top. So that's how you have to, and that means a rich person. Someone has Tariya, he has wealth. Okay, so that, 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 Practice, ain't it from the same place? No. But one has different way of pronouncing. Say it again. Now don't say sad. Some people get to this and say sad. And some people get to that and say that. Right? We don't want to do that. You want to pronounce them more properly. In the Arabic language, amongst the people of grammar, all the med there's two medhebs. Both medhebs go back to Iraq. Meaning that the pronunciation of Iraq, the grammar of Iraq, is the grammar of all of the Arabs. Does that make sense? And I always thought that that's probably a reason why they attacked Iraq so much, one of the reasons to destroy that, you know, that history or that knowledge that could be found there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So say, ih. ih. This is a difficult word for people sometimes who are not familiar with Arabic. It's not in and of itself a difficult word. And this is because in English, how many H sounds? We call it the letter H, right? How many H sounds are there? There's two. But how many do we write? One. One and we not we're not taught to to distinguish between those two sounds. We just learn through practice to say heavy, say heavy, heavy. house, house, and then say heart, heart, right? Then then we have jalapeno, right? Jalapeno. Say hot, hot. You see, it's a different H, right? Even we know jalapeno is not written with H, we still say the H sound. So when you think about it, say my English is kind of confusing when you compare the written and the spoken. But because you turn, but because you, you yes sir, you know, because we grew up speaking it, we don't necessarily pay attention to those subtleties that may be difficult for someone who's looking at it from a scientific point of view. Say, so, okay, why do we say jalapeno with a J there? How do I know when to say hot and not hot? We don't say that. I mean, it was hot. We know that sounds funny, right? <laughs> Is it something, something? Even though he said the word, it sounds funny. We say hot, but then we say heavy, heavy. We don't say heavy. Do we say heavy, like jalapeno? No. Right? You guys get my point? When did you learn there was a difference? You never did. You just noticed it and followed. Is that correct? No. Okay. So understand that in Arabic, though, Arabic is very specific. It teaches us this one is ih. It needs more, certain letters need more time to come out. Say ih. 
Yeah. You see, you hear that? It's coming right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you push it out. Yeah. And then you say, harum. Harum. Make it hard. Harum. Harum. And the right will we'll work like this because the ba, ba is a strong letter. You have to sound it out. Say, harum. Harum. Like you say, dib. No, that dib. 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 Not dib. Dib. Like you say the word the. Same word, same sound. All right? So now we say kharij. Kharij. Ich. Ich. Say ich. 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 You hear that? Ich. Don't we say that in English? Ich. Right? But we might say it with just a K. Ich. Right? But if you scratch it, you, 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 you wet it, ich, ich, ich. So you have kharij. In English, this letter, this sound, the kha sound, gets confused in a lot of different, uh, not a lot, but a few different letters. It gets confused in a K, it gets confused in a G, like garage, right? From the word garage becomes garage. Does that make sense? No. So you might, you might see it in different ways. Sometimes it'll be turned into a K by some people. So you have to make sure you try to pronounce these not with an English mind, but with an Arabic mind. Okay? The next one is tha. He said he said tha. Right? You pronounce it tha. When he said the tha here, it's very important that you get this letter. Say thalib. Thalib. Oh, See, the word, the letter tha is the hardest letter, it, not the hardest, difficult. Like, it comes out, it pops out harder than any other le letter in the whole Arabic alphabet. Tha. 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 It's not a T. Right? It's not a tad. Right? Say ta. Now say tha. You see how it, it, it echoes? It pops out. Tha. Not tha, but tha. Da. 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 Then the next one is la. La. You see how he did his tongue? He said al. 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 Pronounce it for us, Yanni. No, not the bill. Al. 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 He's telling us that the tongue of the tongue, the edge of the tongue, is hitting the teeth. Al. al. But, al. but see, there's also what's going on. Like this is the teeth. The also on the inside, the tongue is going up. Oh. When you say al, when you say law, it cups. Law. Say law. law. You see how it cups? Law. 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 You should do it. You don't have to do it. I can do it without moving my lips. Law. law. It's not a lip letter. Okay? So you don't have to go. But, no, no, no. I'm saying, but it's from the inside. Because sometimes we think it's to do with our lips, and it has to do with the tongue and the jaw. The jaw drops. The tongue turns into a curve. Law. You see that cup? And that's what makes it echo. Okay? Other letters are flat or go up. And they won't make that all sound. Say tad. Does it go, does it go curve? Does it? Dad. That. You see it? Now say raw. You see it curved? You feel it? Raw. Raw. Saw. Saw. It curved on the inside like this. Saw. Saw. You guys get my point? Now say sad. Sad. Did it do it? No. You noticing the subtleties now? This is when you know your Arabic because the Arabic is in the letters. Not the word. It, the pronunciation, the pristine pronunciation comes in pronouncing each letter properly. Does that make sense? No. And even when we talk about tajweed, what huwa a'ta'u kulla harfin, okay? It's to give every letter its right. Every letter. Min sifatin laha wa mustahabtaha. From its sifat, the characteristics of it, and the makhraj. Does you guys, everybody follow me? No. So, how is the best way to learn it? By listening to someone who speaks it properly. By looking, don't you notice babies, they're always looking at their parents' mouth and face and everything. I was drink, driving the car yesterday. My daughter's in the car seat behind me. I, just as I finished, no, we're not paying any attention, just driving. I finished, my daughter in the back, two and a half years old, says, Abby, you finished your coffee? 
Okay? Now, this is a new sentence for her. You know, we didn't ever taught her, say, Abby, you finish your coffee. Why? She's watching. She's watching everything that I'm doing. Even that I just, as, I'm sorry, I just finished it. And you know, we're, in, we're just driving. We're not talking about anything. She's not involved, not even thinking about her. I didn't think she was thinking about me. She's playing. But there's always an eye on the parent. If that's on those things, they're also watching your mouth. And you watched others' mouths. And you saw how they said it. Okay? And what they said, and you, they start repeating it, and we start repeating it. So you have to, as I told you guys a while ago, you have to have a language parent. Remember, guys, I mentioned that to you? And the language parent, I become your language parent. Okay? And I, you see what I'm saying, and I say, this is the type of school where you have to imitate the teacher. The facial, the movements, the, the sounds, the flow. And then as you get older in your language, you develop your style, but it's going to be based on your experiences with your language teachers. And what you want to do is you want to adopt parents wherever you go. Okay? They don't, you don't need their permission. Okay? It's not a long process like here in the States. You watch and you pay attention and you adopt and you pick up those, those skills of articulation, body language, and pronunciation. And you practice it. You practice that. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah. I'm saying that because we're at the end of our, our, our rodeo. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, in, we're really just reviewing. So these are the things, again, that, that it's now like the onus is on you. I know, and you guys should know, that you know enough Arabic now to be at A1 level. The basic things of expressing yourselves. So it seems like we're taking a step back and talk about the letters, but it's not. Now your expressions become stronger. Okay? The main thing that a person has to have at this level is the confidence to speak. Okay? To open their mouth and to do it. Knowing that they're doing it, something right. Something may not be 100% right, but I'm in the game. I'm in the ballpark, right? And I'm not ashamed to be corrected. Right? I'm not scared. It's not going to hurt me. Okay? So, now we say, so, sob. Sob. Us. 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 This is another word that's in English. Just the word saw. Okay? That word saw. I even I saw you. It's different from sad, right? Set, set. Scenery, right? Skates. It's a different set. Saw. She's she escaped. No, go ahead. No, she escaped. I, I'm sorry. As she helped her escape. And then you came back. No, I saw you just now. <laughs> she helped her escape, and then she came and told you she escaped. <laughs> Here she goes. She's back. I'm dead. I'm delayed. <laughs> Mashallah. So understand that this is not a foreign word letter to you guys, okay? It's the same letter that you already have. Don't do to Kalif. Don't be like, ah, 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 ah. you know, so, no, some people do that. They were like, assalamu alaikum. This doesn't cost that. It, no, it's, I'm not trying to make fun. I'm trying to say that, uh, an excess that we don't have to do. And then because the, the other extreme is just as bad. You know? As he says, Kareeb, you say Kareeb. No, no, it's not Kareeb. Come on. It's Kareeb. Say it, Kareeb. It's closer to bloody. No, go ahead. Don't be arguing about it. Get up and go over. Don't be scared. You know? <laughs> you guys get my point? Struggle with it. Okay? It don't don't just leave it. Assalamu alaikum. You know? That's why I said following the that's why the, the body language and the facial structures help in pronunciation and, and watching because when the person doesn't know and they they try to put too much that they think is there. Now, if they're watching that adopted language parent and they see the ease through what they do it, then they can also practice that ease as well. Like, I, I, I tell my children, you better watch out. And then my little daughter comes up, yeah, you better watch out. Right? They, they do a lot of imitating, right? They're not just imitating what you said, but they're imitating your body language. Sometimes you back up and say, okay, I'm not going to do that again. Because you, you don't want them to imitate that. You didn't, you didn't see it that way. But from the language perspective, that's what you're supposed to be looking at so you can imitate that. Does everybody follow me? Yes. Okay. So then he went on and said, Bob, say, El. 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 
Now, a lot of people do a lot of stuff with their tongue. They be a dwab. That's because they write it D-W-A-D, right? So we be like dwab. No, you don't have to twist up your mouth to say dwab and dwab and all this stuff going on with the mouth. It's ill. 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 You see, you, your tongue is flat, okay? Meaning fat, I mean here. Fill it with water. That's how it has to be. It can't be dry. These are subtle things that you do with your tongue when you're speaking. You dry it up, you hard. When you say id, you make it like a like a snake's head. Say id. Id. That. You see what you did? You did like that with your tongue. Now think about it and do it. Id. Id. You feel how you did that? You made the tip of your tongue go just like, say is. You flattened it out and came close and shook it. Say is. You see that? Say hiss. Say is. Say 